Okay, one, two, three, go. Hello, welcome to my makeup tutorial. I know what you're thinking. Dang, it's been a long time. Why, why hasn't she made one yet? Well, here it is. We got fancy stuff, we got fancy makeup. Everyone's got a fancy face. So let's just put it all together. Today, I'm gonna show you this look that I'm sporting right here. You could dress it up, you could dress it down. It's all up to you, it'll be a good time. to do this. So, I've already washed my face. I've already moisturized. The directions are on the back. And then I used pore professional to minimize my giant pores. Here, on my nose, a little bit on my forehead. It's a pretty good primer. I think the best way to do it is to put it on and let it dry before you put on more makeup because otherwise it will just slide off. I've been starting with my eyebrows first because if I put my foundation on, then I put my eyebrows on and then it all friggin' sweats off. It's really frustrating. I've been using my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion as a primer for my eyebrows. So now I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. I actually got the Dark Brown Powder Duo in a little kit with the color, this cute little brush, and then a clear eyebrow gel, and I just bought this separately, so I didn't have to buy another brush. A little bit of this product goes a long way, so you don't have to scoop. I just put on a base for my dip brow, and you want to kind of make a gradient. So for the front of your eyebrows, you want it to be lighter than the rest of your eyebrows. And you don't want it to look like it's a permanent marker drawn on your face. Okay, so now I go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Clear Brow Gel. It works really well and I really like it. I tried other ones like a drugstore. I've not found like a, a dupe for it quite yet. If you guys want to find one, you let me know and I'll find you one. For my next step, a lot of people use concealer around their brows, so I've been doing that. I've also been using this Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline. I use it for highlighting under my eyes, on my nose, on my chin, and then around my brows. I like it because it's got collagen in it. It's like gotten rid of my bags. Clean up around my brows a little bit. I'm using this Shani eyeshadow brush E11. This is just a flat brush. So after that, going with my damp beauty blender. Everyone says, "Oh, it's so much better if it's damp." You know, you're your own person. You can use whatever you buy, however you want it. But these were actually made to be used wet and damp. If you bought one and you're like. I don't know what the whole hype is about this. You need to get it wet. Bring it out, squeeze it with a towel. It's amazing, it's really good, it's really squishy. And it's fun. Now I'm gonna go in with my foundation. I recently got Too Faced Born This Way. There's a whole big following on YouTube of, oh my gosh, Too Faced is amazing. So far, I agree with it. So I'm just gonna take one pump on the back of my yeah! Then I'm just using a foundation brush that's kind of flat. I'm just going to spread it around my face and then I'm going to use Beauty Blender to blend it. Well, now that I'm done with that, I'm going to powder. I use two different powders. I just got the Ben Nye Banana Powder. It works really great for powder around your highlight areas. It's got a yellow tint, so it's not pale. And the second one I'm going to be using is Makeup Forever HD High Definition Powder. It's just a translucent powder that I put everywhere so my face isn't sticky. Now that we've powdered, I am going to 
contour because that's what people do nowadays. With my NYX Highlight and Contour Pro palette, I got at Ulta, I use the lightest shade of brown and this yellow one up here for the highlighting areas. I'm just gonna go in with a slanted brush of any kind. I got this in an Ipsy bag a while ago. The angle part works really well. A lot of people, they do contour, tell you to do a fish face. My face doesn't do that, so what I have to do is just kind of feel around where my cheekbones are. I'm gonna draw a line here and blend that. It creates a nice shadow for depth. I can't smile. Don't smile and do this, unless you're really good. Bam, girl, check out them brows. I'm using some of the dark one now because I feel like it, and that's what you do when you do makeup. You do have to say, a lot of people are like, oh, makeup is so demeaning because people aren't using their natural beauty to go out in the world. They don't feel comfortable and, you know, they just want to hide behind a mask. Makeup, but makeup is art. Do whatever you want with makeup for fun. It's fun. It's fun. Get over it. It's fun. After I do my cheeks, I'm gonna go into my jawline, around my temple, my forehead, and then my nose. Yeah. For my nose contour, I've been using the slanted eyeshadow brush. I've not seen this brush anywhere else before. In case you didn't know, the point of contouring is to add shadows to your face. Wherever you put the shadow, it's gonna make everything look like it's kind of back farther. I put it on my nose to make my nose look skinnier and like more buttony than it already is. Because everybody wants a button nose. Oh, I was just doing my nose contour, another trick that right across the bridge, right about here, it'll add a little bit of contour, so it kind of looks like your nose is more fun to me. Button! All the places I didn't add contour, add highlight. So I'm going in with that yellow color again. When in doubt, blend, and then blend some more. I do have to say I'm extremely excited because I got a new product today, and if you've been watching YouTube videos and watching makeup tutorials, then you'll know all about Becca highlighter. I got the rose gold. We're gonna highlight the tops of our cheeks. You get that dewy shine. Tip of my nose. Up my nose. Here. On your cupid's bow. Amazing. I was going to use a different blush, but I left them in my car. They've been in my car since my friend's wedding in like April, and I think they're underneath my seat, which is why I forget to grab them. So I'm just gonna go back to my everyday Tarte in Tipsy with another angled brush. Looks like there's a lot of stuff on here, but it's actually red. It came red. I don't know why it came red. None of the other brushes came red. Whatever, here we go. Ta-da! Now I have color in my face and shape. I have, this is like my first super profesh makeup tutorial. And I think you all know that because I just think you do. And in the midst of all my excitement in my, oh, this product and that product, I forgot to prime my face. Oops. So usually I use the Kat Von D Locket Feather Weight Primer Base. And the good thing about primers is that it gives your makeup more of something to stick to. So it's not just like, filling up your pores and then falling off. So usually every day I will use this. Anyways, back to it. Moving on to our eyes. Just a nude um, eyeliner pencil. And I use it to water, I use it to line my water line. <laughs> water. So cause I have smaller eyes, I like to use a brighter color like nude or white so that I look more alive. Don't poke yourself in the eye. And if you're not used to putting makeup here, let me tell you, your eye will water because it tickles. I'm alive! Moving on to eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using the Lorac Pro Palette. I have been using it for quite some time. I used the pale pink, which I'm gonna use again today, a lot. So I decided to go to Ulta and get another palette that I thought 
oh, I haven't seen very many people use it, so I'm gonna try it. So I got the Ulta Rose Gold palette, which has a lot of really pretty colors in it and a brush. But I'm kind of disappointed because it's it's not very pigmented. Don't really know what I'm gonna use it for. I haven't tried any of the non-matte colors, so I'm gonna wait and figure out if I like it. Like I said, Lorac Pro. Let's do it. Eyeshadow buffer brush. It's just an eyeshadow brush. I usually go in with cream right under my brow, the white under my brow, as well as the inner corner, and then we will go from there. I just packed the light pink onto my lid. Go in with my little blending brush. Fits in the crease really well. I'm gonna go in with taupe, and this is what we like to call a transition color. This just makes it easier for me to go from that super light pink into some other color, like maybe I wanna go with a metallic color in the crease of some sort. Um, and if you have hooded eyes like me, you are gonna wanna go a little above your crease, and then if you have other eyes, you don't have to do that. So now I'm going to go in with this mauve color. Yeah. What's next? I was getting really anxious about this part because it's very scary. But we're going to do it anyways. It's time for liquid eyeliner! I'm using um, Stilla Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Intense Black. I want to start using gel eyeliners. So if you know of any good brands, comment down below. I'm getting pretty anxious about this. It's eyeliner, but it's so scary. I'm gonna try to do a winged liner, and I'm delaying right now. I'm stalling because I know that this is very a scary thing. And I do makeup all the time. I do my makeup like every day. And some days are good, some days are bad. I believe in us mostly. So what I do usually is I will start from the outer corner and I'll draw a line and then I will take another line from the very end and go back in to make it beautiful. Let's do this. So there's my first line. All right, this eye always turns out better. I'm gonna go do the second eye, see how it goes. Turned out good, so I kept going with this one. I'm gonna go through and clean up the other side. Oh my gosh, we did it. I'm just gonna fix one more thing and I really hope that I don't mess this up. Okay, woo, we can breathe again. So for mascara, I'm gonna use this Too Faced, better than sex, so far. It's pretty good. So far. So we're gonna do one or two coats of this. Top and bottom. Alrighty then, we're gonna move on to our individual lashes. So I usually go for the Ardell individuals. It's not just like one eyelash that you glue on at a time. What I usually do is I'll take my Duo Lash Glue. I do use clear because if you get it on your face, it'll just dry clear and it won't be like a black smudge across your face. So I just put a tiny dab, like so. And then I usually let it sit for a couple minutes. I'll do a dance or something while I wait. Careful, you don't want these going into your eyeball. What I usually do is I'll take my little individuals, kind of little, it's like a little bit of a spider leg. You dip the little, there's like a little knot. It looks like a bunch of little tiny lashes that were tied together and then like pulled to one side. Go to the store, look at them, you'll see. Ah, I got it, it's okay. Try to get away from me. No, no, no. A little knot at the bottom, you stick that in the glue. Wave it around some more because you want it to be tacky. And then you're gonna rest it on your eyelash. You don't wanna stick it to your eyelid because it will come off. So stick it on them. Ta-da! One down. 
We did it! Okay, so I'm just gonna let the rest of that dry a little bit and then I'll go over what I already just glued with some liquid eyeliner to make sure that it's not visible. <laughs> Lastly, we're gonna do the lips. I've been trying to get more into lip liner. I don't really have a favorite. I don't really have a preference at all. So I'm not gonna use one. I am going to use Takari lipstick in Cabernet. I got it in the Ipsy bag a while ago and it has just been my favorite of all time so far. So I use a paper towel or a tissue. Oh! I don't want all of this hard work to melt off as much as I try to keep it from melting off. The setting spray. So I use the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. Shake it up. Spray it everywhere except for inside your eyeballs. Don't spray it on your mirrors. I'll clean that later. There it is! It's your makeup and it's beautiful! You're beautiful! That's on the floor! If you liked it and you want to see more, comment below, whatever, hit subscribe, and you will get what you want. I will give you what you want. More makeup.